Hello guys, it's me Simo Orohara and in this video we're going to talk about some of Google's latest answers at Club Outside. And as a PS, the second part of the title is not a new answer, it's an old one, but it has something to do with our topic. And I mean by origin from where Kubo got inspired to create Orohara as a character. So guys, it's been a long time since Kubo answered an important question about the story. Almost all the questions are normal and some of them are as usual strange and weird. And these are some of them. This fan asked this question based on the shape of Fendor and exactly his resurrection, which resembles the arm of a crab, as well as how Fendor fought Hisagi. When Fendor wanted to fight Hisagi, he asked him a question about his rank in the Gucci 13. Hisagi answered that he is a vice captain, but Hisagi knew that Fendor was fighting at the level of a fifth seed officer. And this made Fender confess to Hisagi that he was testing him in order to know whether Hisagi was able to guess his strength or not. The important thing is that Fan thought that Kubo got inspired that fight from the legend of one of the yokai, whose name Kani Buzu. And he is a crap yokai. And as you can read in this definition, that yokai was killing the monks of a temple after they didn't answer correctly regarding one of his questions. But Kubo said that he searched for this matter and that legend was not a source of his inspiration. And it's frankly clear because the story of that yokai is far from the path of that fight. And let's move on to the next question. This fan wanted to know which language Ichigo translates because as you know Ichigo's job right now is a translator and Kubo replied that Ichigo translates from English to Japanese and in fact Kubo since the beginning of the story showed that Ichigo like English as a language for example in this card that show us some information about Ichigo we find that the person whom Ichigo respects very much is William Shakespeare, one of the iconic of English literature. Even in the Four Ring arc, we saw an English book of Ichigo inside his school bag. And in Rokia's novel, it was mentioned that Ichigo entered the university and chose English literature for his studies. So these were all indications that Ichigo would choose a job to what he have studied. And let's move to the next question. So this fan said that Noichura is related to the praying mantis in many ways as a form as well as the command of releasing his Zanpakuto. And by the way, it is correct. The, the command release of, of Noichura's Zanpakuto is Santa Teresa, praying mantis. And it seems that this fan saw a film and thought that Kobo based on it to create some of Noichura's weapons. For this Kubo replied that there is indeed common points, but is nothing more than a coincidence. And actually Kubo's answer makes me want to talk about something, which is the exaggeration of some fans in relying whether on some myths or other stories in order to say that Kubo adapted his character from this legend. And actually this can be true in some aspects. For example, the character of Orohara Kiski Kubo previously stated that he created him based on Snufkin from the Moomin story. And personally, I watched some episodes of that anime and I have really found that Orohara Kiski resembles Snufkin in several points. For example, as an appearance, their clothes are a little bit similar. Snufkin also smokes pipe and Snufkin also shares with Kiski the fact that they both know a lot about their words. For example, in this scene, the Moomin Papa was talking about one of the abnormal characters and he asked Snufkin about it. Snufkin said that he knew about its existence, but he didn't see it. And this scene reminds me of a scene of Orohara when Okitaki mentioned Mimihagi in front of him. And Orohara said he had never seen Mimihagi, but he had heard of it. And also Snufkin, all the characters around him know that he knows a lot. Like this animal that came to Snufkin when he was returning to the Moomin Valley. He told him, you're someone who knows a lot. And this is almost the same thing that Askin Naklovar said when he met Orohara Kiski. He told him that you're a person whose face looks like he have seen a lot in this world. And also Snufkin is a mysterious character and loves loneliness. Meaning that no matter how close you are with Snufkin, you will find yourself not knowing anything about him. 
or that he is a character who hides a lot. And this is also one of the biggest characteristics of Oro Horakiski. So when I watched some of these stories of Snufkin, I knew why Kubu said he relied on Snufkin to create Orohara. However, I can't take the talk of someone as a fact like saying that Kubu based this X event on some mythologies until Kubo confirm it. And as long as we're talking about Orohara, we will move to the last question related to him. Frankly, this question is weird. So as you can read, according to what I understand from Google translation, this fan asked Kubo, who are the Shinigami that can drive? Kubo said, if it comes to safe driving, there is Isani. And if it comes to skills, there is Orohara. And if it comes to bad driving, there are many characters, and of course the most prominent of them is Zaraki Kinpachi. And this is clear, Zaraki's nature will make him cause a crash on his first drive. So guys, this was the answers of this video, tell me your opinion, and see you in my next video.